Welcome to part 2 of our Iceland adventure. We arrived in the south of Iceland and are on the final stretch of the ring road. The south has a high density of sightseeing spots, so get ready for some beautiful waterfalls and the famous Gazier. many diamonds left but still it is spectacular the diamond beach is right outside the glacier lagoon which is called Jokursorbo at the plane and as you can see it looks absolutely amazing you hardly ever get to see a plane that close and to touch it and feel it after all those years it's just incredible we highly recommend to visit the plane it's a bit of a walk but four kilometers eight kilometers when going forth and back but otherwise it is just amazing and definitely worth the trip I've been trying hard to keep my cool But when you need, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, It doesn't even matter how hard And as you can see from the footage, we are completely alone So when you arrive at roughly 5 o'clock you will be here at 6 o'clock and now at the moment nobody is here. So may keep that in mind when you come here to the airport. Welcome to Skogafoss. Skogafoss is a waterfall in the south of Iceland. It's one of the two most famous waterfalls in the south of Iceland. We are currently here at Selja Landsfoss. This is the famous waterfall which you can go behind the curtain of water. So that's why we won't be able to vlog on this camera and this is why we will switch to the DJI Osmo Action. waterfall we ate some breakfast then we headed up north to our last waterfall for the day it's the waterfall called Gulfos this waterfall is right next to the Geysir which we'll visit next this is a highly visited waterfall it even has a huge uh, visitor center a huge gift shop and a restaurant so be prepared to find a lot of tourists here if you want to avoid them come as early as possible Thank you. 
mentioned, our next stop are the geysers. The biggest geyser explodes every few minutes. You need roughly 30 minutes if you want to get a good photo and some video. But now it's time for lunch because we are hungry and therefore see you at the restaurant. We really enjoyed our delicious lunch and headed to Reykjavik next. We spent a lot of time just strolling around the city. We really loved the colored buildings and the little cafes in the old town. After exploring the beautiful city, we headed to the Blue Lagoon, where we cooked a delicious meal. Then we used the parking lot for a short camper tour. Unfortunately, it was our last night in the camper and we had to return it the following day. Welcome to our cozy camper. With this camper, we drove over all of Iceland the last couple of days. And therefore, it's time to show you what machine drove us around the country. First of all, we have here our standard cockpit, which isn't really that special when you know a car. The only upside is there are two upsides. You have three seats, so enough space if you are two in the front. And second, you have a Bluetooth connection with your radio. So you are able to stream your own music, podcast, or whatever you want to hear on the radio. So now let's head back to the interesting part of the car. So this is the main area. Here you have, first of all, a refrigerator, which you can control the temperature. You have a heater, because in Iceland it's t it tends to be pretty cold. So a heater is a necessity. And last but least, you have here an outlet. So, so you are able to charge your phones. Now this area is pretty interesting because one, it is a sofa, but it is also a bed. You are able to pull this part of the bed out and make a bed for yourself and your companion, travel companion. Last but not least, we are heading to the back of the car. Here we have for once a water tank down there, which allows you to have tap water. So you are able to fill up water for your spaghettis, your noodles, and you can also brush your teeth whenever you want. In addition, you want to cook something. So you have your gas stove, which you can cook all different meals, as we did just today, where we grilled a salmon. And you have all the cutlery, the, t the plates, the, the pots, everything you need to cook a delicious meal and also eat it. Because the surface isn't that big here, you're even able to pull out a table. So you can eat comfortably here in the van. I hope that gives you a good idea how the cozy camper is working, how you can travel around Iceland pretty convenient. You have electricity, you have a refrigerator, a heater, a bed, everything you need and this is pretty comfortable to travel that way in Iceland. So if you want to travel, come to Iceland, travel around the ring road, take a cozy camper because it's pretty damn cozy. After showing you the camper, we headed inside to enjoy the Blue Lagoon. While the entrance fee is quite steep, it is nonetheless worth visiting. If you're traveling to Iceland, the Blue Lagoon is a must-see. Thank you for watching our Iceland adventure. If you haven't seen the first part of our trip, make sure to watch that video as well. If you like this video, please give it a like and if you want to see more travel videos, consider subscribing. See you in the next video.